position y. All right. Then we can also do that for our asteroid if we want. Um, so when it hits an asteroid, that'll explode as well. Uh, so let's see. And that's right here. So right now we have uh, given our player uh, five points for killing an asteroid. We're going to do the same thing. Um, we can just copy this line up here. All right, and we can put it right here. So we're going to add an explosion there too. So whenever we shoot an asteroid, uh, but we want we don't want it at the enemy position. We want it at the a position dot x, the asteroid position dot x. Okay. So now we have ex explosions should spawn there and there, and then obviously uh, in our draw function, we want to say uh, just like with the other classes, we're going to put a for each in here, and we're going to say um, for each um, explosion, um, we'll just call it ex because we can't put an e because we already have an e in here for the enemies. Um, so explosion ex uh, in explosion list. So for each explosion in our explosion list, we want to ex draw it, spray patch. Okay, so we are we are drawing them now. All right, so um, that's it. I mean, we're drawing it, we're updating them. Uh, uh, we just need to call one more thing in our update. Um, we need to call our manage explosions function. So. Um, that be here. We'll just put it after our player in Starfield update. We'll just say um, we'll call manage explosions. Okay, so that and manage all manage explosions is doing is keeping track and whenever a explosion becomes invisible, which means after its animation is done, it's going to remove it. Okay, that should be it. So now if we save. I know I kind of went through this a little fast tonight, guys, but I've been super busy with school and work, and I've been trying to get these out, and it's it's uh, 9:30 here tonight, and I got work tomorrow, and I got my kid to bring to school, and <laughs> uh, but I'm you know I'm excited about these next couple, and I want to get them out even though I am busy. So if I'm moving too fast, let me know. And as usual, guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me or something. Um, um, I've had a couple requests for source code for because when I'm testing. Uh, I have a, a lot of I'm, I'm ahead of a lot of our videos in the actual project uh, this is just a copy that I'm do I do along with you guys and I have a copy of this project that I work on for testing uh, prior to making the videos but I, I don't give out any source code maybe a couple months down the road when the series is done and over and uh, people might want it then but uh, right now I'm just trying to teach you guys so uh, it's nice when you can just uh, kind of go along and get the hang of X and A I mean that's the whole point of tutorials right is to uh, learn how to do the content but uh, okay uh, Without further ado, let's build this and run. And hope we don't have any errors. We don't. So let's shoot, see if our explosions. And we don't have any explosions. So we're going to have to figure out why. Okay, we'll close that. And uh, give me one second to find out why. Alright, I forgot one thing in our game 1.cs, I forgot to update them. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but uh, like how you know how we have our for each enemy and enemy list, we update it. We need to do that same thing, okay? So we're gonna say um, go under here. Oh yeah, we can either put it under the asteroid. Yeah, we'll just do it above the asteroid. That's fine. So we'll say for each um, explosion. EX and explosion list. EX dot update. And it's game time. Okay? Let's make sure we're in our update function. Yes, we are. Okay? Well, let's comment that. Alright. Now, if we save, build, now we should have some our updated explosions. There we go. If I can shoot anything here. Come on, gamer dad, let's kill some stuff. Alright, and see you now, let's, as a quick example, you see how fast the animation is going? 
you want to change that animation speed, go into your explosion and you can turn the interval, let's just go crazy and let's turn it up to like 160, okay? So there's more time between each uh, frame that's drawn in our sprite sheet, so it's gonna, the animation is gonna appear a lot slower. It, like drastically slower with 160. So check this out. Whoa. Now these things are just gonna be sitting all over the screen because they're taking forever to explode. But I don't know if you guys agree, but I thought 20 was a pretty good, uh, pretty good interval because these things are obviously way too slow. It doesn't match the speed of the game. So we'll put it back to 20. 20F run it there we go that looks a little more realistic right and then now uh, once we get our sound effects in which is going to be our next set of videos is uh, adding sound it's going to be a sound manager class so we can just call sounds wherever we want in the game one um, we get our explosion sounds and some background music and uh, some uh, sounds every time we shoot a bullet it's really going to start uh, being pretty cool man like in my testing it's it's really coming around cool all right uh, but with that, guys, this is going to be it for our explosion video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if anything, it gave you a little lesson on animated sprites as well. I mean, uh, like I said, I had to look up stuff on animated sprites too. And once I found out how easy it can be, you know, it's gonna we, we might just incorporate it into some different stuff too. Like uh, when our player ship's moving left and right, we'll have some animations to the ship so it doesn't look so static. All right, but with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's late again. And I'm 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 trying real hard to get, you know, a couple of videos out a week a week at least. Uh, but with homework, holy crap, man, it's really building up. Um, but all right, like the video if you liked it. Toss me a sub if you want to see when the next video is posted right away. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.